approximately 8.2 million job openings nationwide and an alarming 75% of employers struggling to find qualified candidates. Innovative solutions like apprenticeships are critical. It takes collaboration to build programs that can pave the way to a brighter future, not just for individuals, but for the nation as a whole. Clark is an institution that is deeply invested in connecting talented people with opportunities in the world. We do that every day here in Maine South in Worcester, Massachusetts, and we do it for our students and faculty around the globe. Through the Department of Labor's Scaling Apprenticeship Grant, Clark University's TechQuest Apprenticeship created relationships that connected more than 6,800 people across the country to careers in IT, cybersecurity, healthcare, finance, broadband, advanced manufacturing, and critical infrastructure. The perfect arrangement we create is for people who can go to work, gain that experience, get paid, and be able along the way to be moving towards earning a college degree. The consortium of Clark University, the Department of Labor, PCG, local workforce boards, training providers, and employers exemplifies collaboration at its best. Think about a four-legged stool. If any of them are off balance, then you're off balance. It is our job as the Clark University workforce team to create that balance between those partnerships. You need an employer that wants to incorporate apprenticeship into the program. You need training partners that are willing to train for those positions. And then you need individuals that want to be an apprentice. So if you have all of those, you also need the funding. That's where Clark University comes in. The funds that the Department of Labor provided for this project, we use in a number of ways. The largest piece of the funding goes directly for the training to underwrite the expense of the apprenticeship experience. The Department of Labor is the cornerstone of TechQuest. We've seen firsthand the transformational power of apprenticeships in driving economic recovery and closing the workforce gap. There's still a perception that apprenticeships as a model, as a structure, uh, is really geared towards only the hard trades, like construction or electrical, uh, when really it's, it's a model that can be replicated across industries and ac across sectors. So having employers understand what apprenticeship is and how it could benefit them so that they can go ahead and, and implement that on their, on their own terms. The demand for skilled IT professionals continues to surge. As a country, we're making an investment, a significant investment in apprenticeships. IT and IT-related careers are an excellent opportunity for people to enter a career track. If the employers continue to make the investment in apprenticeship, this will ensure that they will have the skilled workforce they need to innovate and thrive in the digital economy, and Americans will have career paths on ramps to a career for growth. Many of our students will go on to industry, to government, and to nonprofits, and we view this experiential learning opportunity as a way to incorporate their classroom learning and real-world experience to allow them to thrive in their careers as they leave Clark and head out into the world. My confidence is through the roof now. Uh, you can't tell me that I'm not a <laughs> cybersecurity tech or analyst yet, but I mean, um, it's been pretty good. You know, just really a lot of job security and, you know, security just within my career. So I just feel confident to learn and to go through the process and to get into my field. I think the Loop Labs opened doors for me. I feel like every time we meet someone new, even at Q Division, it's like we're taking that next step in our confidence um, to go out and talk to these people who are at such a higher level than us and been doing it for years. As someone who worked in one industry for 10 years before hopping to another, I would encourage people to just go for it. I was really excited to start my training in IT, but I was a little bit adrift and I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do going forward. This grant has offered me the chance to gain hands-on experience and offers me a lot more flexibility in my career path going forward. It benefits the job seekers as well as the employers. So job seekers are able to have their family and have other things that they need to do. They learn while they earn, whereas the, the employers benefit from having that person as another set of hands. In, in essence, it's a, a one-year interview and they get to train people uh, in their proprietary methods. It, it's a great fit in the big picture. And apprentices are less expensive in that first year because they're paid at an apprenticeship rate of pay rather than at a, a full-time employee rate of pay. 
When we first started TechQuest Apprenticeship, we actually wrote the grant so that we were working more so with workforce development boards and institutions of higher education. That being the case, we wanted to make sure that we were creating new apprenticeship programs. Then 2020 hits, and guess what? The world kind of shuts down. And that being the case, everybody went into survival mode. We're especially appreciative that the Department of Labor had such a great vision for this initiative. The project allowed us the opportunity to navigate the COVID crisis, to, to pivot when that was needed, and to, to reach and exceed actually the metrics that were initially rolled out on this project. And, and a lot of that is the result of the Department of Labor being uh, flexible to work with and still keeping us on task and on focus for the uh, outcomes that they desired when they created this project. Through TechQuest, we were able to develop an infrastructure here at the university and with our partners such as PCG and the Workforce Development Boards. That infrastructure continues to be a legacy of this particular program. At PCG, we work with our clients to create and implement solutions that matter. We played a supporting role by enhancing collaboration and driving innovative solutions that align with the country's constantly changing workforce needs. We continue to invest in the future of our company by developing our own apprenticeships. We are excited about the future of apprenticeships and to continue our collaboration with Clark University. It's important that the work done through this project creates a sustainable set of resources. A, a lot of progress was made, and we now have resources that live at the TechQuest website, apprenticeship.gov, and with the Workforce Development Boards, so that people coming into this type of space can move rapidly and efficiently through the training and get themselves right into the employment um, and, and into well-paid jobs relatively quickly. We believe in supporting great career opportunities. Apprenticeships are not just a way to fill job vacancies. They're a transformative approach that empowers individuals, revitalizes our economy, and cultivates a workforce ready to tackle the challenges of the future. For more information on how apprenticeships have changed and continue to change the lives of Americans, visit apprenticeship.gov. And to learn about the amazing work Clark University has contributed to workforce development, visit Clark University Workforce Grants. Together, we're building a brighter and more skilled future.